All right, guys, welcome back to Jade Regent Week 12. Apparently, the puns have already started. <laughs> we just can't stop it this week. We're, we're going to hop right in here. I'm, of course, uh, what is my title for this show? Am I the Dark Hand of Fate on this show? I think so. That Mummy's Maskers is this one. I've never heard it before. Okay, so it's Mummy's Mask. All right, on this one, I'm just, you know, Game Master. Arthur Perkins... Uh, Craig, how are you doing this week? I understand you have your car's hood. Sorry, truck. Yep, Truck's yep. Hood in the background there. Those, of you, those of you on the... I got the, the hood in here. We had to bring in a, a tractor into the garage. I'm running low on room, so... I just set the hood in here to get out of the way, and it hadn't moved since, so, you know. <laughs> That's what car parts do. Yeah, yeah, they sit there. So I'm, uh, I'm way, way overdue to get this truck finished, but, you know, life intrudes. What are you going to do? Excellent, excellent. So, I, but other uh, than that, I have a very important question for you, Craig. All right, well, shoot, man. Have you watched Taylor Swift's new music video, Bad Blood? Oh, God. I think you can probably answer that question yourself, Arthur. Okay, all right. I, think I just want to know what just... your Bad Blood name would be. Uh, I'm assuming. I, I don't even course. have a reference because I don't know See, the video See, I'm assuming that all. you watched it when you said that because everyone no. loves Taylor Swift. Really? Mm. Think, yeah. Think about that for a minute, okay? Yeah, I am thinking about it. No. I I I don't think I would watch Taylor Swift if you nail my foot to the floor. So. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm glad you quantified that <laughs> so thoroughly. Uh, so no bad bad blood name for you. All right. Okay. Uh, if you can explain it to me, I'll work on something. But no. No, no it's I, just I, like I a badass nothing. name for yourself. Badass name for myself. No, I got nothing, man. We'll come back. We'll come back. Uh, okay. Ben, how are you doing this week? Hello. I'm great. Um, I got back from vacation in San Diego, which was fantastic. One of their... <clears throat> two of their days of annual rain happened while we were out there, which is spectacular luck. So that kind of sucked. But um, all in all, it was a good trip. In quick summary... Let's see. I got to watch a uh, professional pool player play at my buddy's house. Um, I watched <clears throat> a friend of mine try and cleave a pool table in twain with his face, and he did not get a concussion or sustain any major damage, which was absolutely spectacular. Um, we had a wedding. I don't remember most of the end of it, and uh, I had a good trip. That was all in all a great Sounds long like weekend. You're lucky you didn't have a funeral with Mr. Poolface. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't lose any teeth. Um, he smacked it with his like eye and his nose. He just fell out of a chair to make a long, a sh well, short story short. He basically fell out of a chair because he was blackout drunk, just right into the edge of the pool table on his face. There was blood everywhere. It was a, it was a mess. Wow, that sounds horrifying. Yeah, it was. It was pretty sobering. Which brings me to my next question. <laughs> what is your bad blood name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, man. I didn't even know Taylor Swift had a new song. Oh, boy. I know it exists. This I just haven't gotten today. around to... I just haven't gotten around no. to watching it. I know well, it exists. Well, Ben, I'm going to skip over that question for you. You've I just don't feel you. too bad, Ben, because I barely know who Taylor Swift is. So You know her something. enough to be... Pretty vocal about how much you don't like her. <laughs> I, I haven't really any familiarity enough to say that That's I would okay. completely no. oppose her. <clears throat> all right, I'm I just, get it. You guys are all on Swift. I mean, I'm tangentially aware of her and nothing more. All right, that's fine. Dan, how are you doing this week? Doing pretty all right. Spring classes have ended, and right now I'm just getting ready to pack up and move back to Virginia. And after I do that, it'll be pretty... i am hopefully have a better internet connection. I'll definitely have a better camera. All right, excellent. That's what everybody wants to hear everywhere. And we never... I, listen, man, no one ever wants to relive the, the knife incident, okay? <laughs> no one. That kind, of, that kind of shit would not happen in a real-life game either. <laughs> That's the kind of craziness you can only get here. <laughs> well, 
Yeah. What is yeah. this real life of which you speak? Okay. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. on That's another note, break. I no. just got my Gen that. Con modules in the email Give today. Me. Or my Gen Con scenarios. You mean your Paizo <sighs> No, Gen Con. Really? They just, yeah, they just uh, sent out the stuff that I didn't have yet. I'm going to be running Science of the Sky Key, all three parts. Uh, Siege of Serpents, the Sky Key Solution, and True Dragons of Absalom. Where in okay. the last one you play a bunch I of kobolds. I don't think I have that one yet, so you're ahead of me, man. They added it to my account. I think you got an email, didn't you? Nope. <clears throat> I'm not oh. going to Gen Con. That might be oh, nice. that, that would do it. All right, David, how are you doing this week? Um, pretty good. Um, I have potential for income. Suddenly offers are coming to me without me seeking them out. It's very strange. Um... <laughs> Despite being missing six credits, I am now officially on Paizo's site, a four-star GM. Oh, nice. Ducky, ducky. nice. There you go. And, um... Uh, I don't watch Taylor Swift either, but, you know, <laughs> if you need a bad blood name, uh, we can go with my new gamer order, Nick, which is rye to dave rye R Y E, not W R Y, because I am Canadian and we drink proper whiskey. <laughs> That's a shout out to all you Canadians out there who comprise 32% of my viewing audience. <laughs> also, a shout out to you, Guam. 6%. You're hanging in there. <laughs> Good job, Guam. Yeah, Guam. You rule. Uh, so, obviously, my bla- bad blood name would be Easy Mode. Because that's how I roll. I proved it today, rolling around in Counter-Strike with an auto-sniper. <laughs> Full enemy team had sniper rifles and I aced them by just shooting blindly around corners. <laughs> holding the trigger. Oh, it was really bad. Um, yeah. So, APCon is still happening. The announcement for it officially hasn't been sent, but hopefully by the next time Jade Region rolls around. You guys will get a first look at signing up. Um, yeah. We got a new show coming in two weeks. And it's going to be June 1st. Ben's going to be on it. It's going to be friggin' awesome. It's not going to be Pathfinder, but it's still going to be amazing, so you should watch it. That's going to be June 1st at 8 p.m., possibly 7 p.m., but probably 8 p.m. We're working on that one. Probably talk to people. Uh, Pendragon's back on Saturday nights, in case you haven't caught that. Pendragon, so good. So good. If you like stories of King Arthur and knights and battles and basically making fun of Saxons and murdering Saxons, lots of dead Saxons, watch Pendragon. Uh, No Daily Bard this week. I'm still waiting for all the groups to reach a point where I could write a daily bard for all of them at the same time and have it be unique. So it should be next week, but we do have a unique intro here. So, let's see. And unlike normal, this is not a journal of Sandra Visky, nor is it a recap. So, if you want a recap, you're just going to have to... Oh no, we lost Craig! Uh-oh. This happened no. in the beginning of last episode, too, right when I did the intro. All right. We'll try to get him back. Yeah, so I'll run through the recap real quick. The party uh, was warned. No matter what, don't get in an honor duel. The very last thing they thought about was getting in an honor duel. (laughs) They found out that a a dwarven advisor to the throne was spreading information, possibly misinformation, about a certain organization not existing, and they wanted to go after that person. I believe his name was... Bring it up. His name was Royal Advisor Grundy Erickson. Uh, Oh, we got you back, Craig? Yeah, not sure, man. Excellent. Just went away. Uh, so Grundy fun. Erickson, they wanted to have a chat with him. Uh, Dan got harassed by the lawyer of the Tosei Kai, the voice of the East, Yakuza. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was quite a long... 
I'm just going to call it the inn incident, where the party moved to the inn, and uh, yeah, Luke that Fisk. inn is secure. In the middle of the night, Doff, Ben's character, was summoned to the Sith Kona, mm -hmm. the, uh, the hedge witches, and he refused to tell them anything. And had a very angry argument with a slightly confused uh, William of Ashti, who offered him a sandwich, which he attempted <laughs> to eat. In one gigantic <laughs> bite. I'm skipping over the whole argument and just concentrating on the important part: the sandwich. Yeah, I know, right? That's the really sandwich what... was really important. It was the plot point. So we begin in a dark room. Lined with tapestries with Minkayan sigils hanging down. There are five tapestries. The camera tilts down to a table with five figures, silhouetted unnaturally in shadow, despite a steady lighting behind each of them. The smallest among them raises a shaded claw towards the center of the room and says, I've activated the frozen shadows. At long last, the Amatatsu heir has shown herself. And now, she foolishly opens the box to consult with her kami. With her death, we will finally be forever free. The shadow formed into the semblance of a shapely and buxom woman that shays forward, pointing her finger toward the previous speaker. The kami could tell her much, warn her. They know the secrets of our kind and can tie chains that bind us. We must move quickly, else we are by blood betrayed. A third speaker steps forward to push the womanly finger aside roughly. Enough of your games. All goes according to plan. Once the beautiful and deadly Kimandatsu has done her work, we shall be free. The rumors of this so-called Imperial Court are meaningless. They are fools and children playing at their heritage, with little respect for the past. Even should they survive the slaughter of their benefactor, our agents and cows god will hunt them down like the dogs they are. The foreshadow stumbles forward, relying on a cane of bamboo unfiltered by the shadows. Rising to full height without stooping, the shadow cackles. <laughs> what use is there of calling your maid beautiful, Sang Shao? As I've told you over the last thousand years, calling attention to the physical attributes of shapeshifters is meaningless. The two of you have shifted roles a hundred times, so you yourself should beware the binariness of gender. The cane figure trails off as the final shadow unfolds itself into a massive beast-like creature with wicked curved horns and arms as thick as barrels. The figure screams into the center of the room, and the four shadows are all flung upwardly. The camera pans up to follow them to show that they are pinned to the ceiling, pressed by some unearthly wind. The beast shadow begins shouting, Enough of your pathetic social rights crusade! Once we have the control of the country, you can re-educate these peasant mortals on our ways, our proper speech, whatever you deem necessary, Sifu. Don't count your larvae until they evolve. The beast shadow turns its back, and the remaining figures fall from the sky to clump on the table. We fade to black. Bam. And that is when we uh, come with a, like, overhead aerial helicopter camera following the four party members as they leave the domicile of Asvig Longfused, who they believe is the current <clears throat> holder of the Sword to Sushin. And as we come down upon the party, they say something like, <laughs> so we're totally crashing that festival, right? That feast, Absolutely. Right? We're going to lull them into a false sense of security. Did seem like a good idea last week. That certainly means it's still a good idea this week. <laughs> what are you talking about, weeks? <laughs> it's only been a few minutes. <laughs> That's right. You literally just walked outside. I like how cognizant you guys are of the situation. <laughs> we gonna try again? There it goes. Okay. I didn't like oh, the way drop. his guard was sassing us. I think uh, they've I... got something to hide. 
Okay. I think I didn't like, like the way, the way his all of wife them. treated me. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Casting spells on you. Yeah, I think I think uh, they need a good spanking. So we'll be back. All right. So what's the plan? Do any of us know anything about the legality of casting spells on other people like she did? Hmm, interesting. I think it would be a knowledge local or a knowledge nobility ooh, check. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have both of those things. <clears throat> but I'm going to roll local because they're both the same. Interesting choice. Boom! Okay, yeah. Uh, so casting spells is pretty frowned upon. I mean, if you ran to the to mm -hmm. the constables or something, mm -hmm. they would probably just point out that you were standing at the edge of their land. But if you right. did it in, like, a town or something, you might be... There's varying levels of penalty depending on what happens. The lowest would be, like, a public shaming, and the highest would be being stoned to death. <laughs> huh, okay. knowledge, nobility, see... Oh, wait. What? They changed the sheet again. They have adventure skills, background skills... Consolidated skills? All skills? What the fuck? Okay. Weird. Anyway, moving on. By the way, I wanted to ask, because I didn't get a chance between now and then, how is that intro, by the way? Wrote it myself. Holy shit. In like <laughs> that was... two minutes. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it was Ooh. super good. Cinematic pretty as good. hell, man. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Now to ignore it in character. Right, exactly. Yeah, that, that's yeah, what seriously. I'm sort of pissed about. It's like, <laughs> I mean, that was beautifully well done, but my character knows nothing of it. So, yeah. Shame we don't have anybody with wizard senses. Yeah, so four guys walk out of a longhouse. What do they do? Well, you know the rough layout of the longhouse from the views that you got earlier. I think I have you guys all in the longhouse area. I believe it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon for you. It would be two hours to head back to town, and then two hours to come back out because you didn't take a horse. And, uh... Um, oh, we did take horses. Did you take horses? Yes. We, oh, yeah, we, uh, we were talking hour. about riding. We, draw, we like, borrowed the draft horses. That's <laughs> right, yep. Yeah. Okay, and uh, it wasn't mentioned that much last session, but I wanted to make sure to emphasize it. There is a feast tonight. At Asvig mm. Longthier's house. Right. Oh yeah, we're crashing that sucker. Yep. So may I ask then, what then is the plan? Where are you going somewhere now, or what? I don't what really do do? want to walk two hours out there and two hours back. We should just find some place to lay low for a bit. I agree. And then maybe try for an infiltration mission. Yeah, I think that's our best bet. Okay, all right. You squat in the woods. You're adventurers. You're, well, I mean, I guess none of you have actually been adventurers except maybe Joff until this point. But surely one of you has enough survival to know some non-lethal place to park yourself for a few mm. hours where you can't be seen. I'm plus ten, so yeah, I can take a ten. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yep. With You're the way 20. better than. You easily find shelter, and you probably find enough, like, food and water to feed everybody for the rest of the day while you wait it out. So, nightfall is coming, and with it, the celebration. What is the plan? There are enough, um, I'm going to call them outbuildings, but there's enough structures between the edge of Asvig Longthu's property and his main clan hold. That approaching will not be an issue. You will be able to sneak all the way up to the house. It's what you're doing from there that's going to be the problem. Okay. Also, so if these you are... remember, I don't, I don't specifically remember how much you figured out, but you do know that there is some magic on the posts that line his property. Right. Did we, we didn't know have that? time to inspect it, but we did see it, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have time to inspect it. Best guests are probably, like, laced with alarm spells. Yeah, with a witch as a wife that cast spells aggressively on people. Yeah. I will point out, she didn't cast any spells. She used the slumber hex. Well, I mean... We don't know that. They're probably, like, laced with alarms like a spell that, to me. Okay, that just right. ping the person who casts them or ping well, somebody. I bet with, with some spellcraft, we can find out. 
Yeah, sure. I'll give it a shot. Ooh, yeah, I can help. All right, Eridos, why don't you spellcraft it? You sneak within 60 feet of the property. I guess maybe you're, like, hiding behind a tree, and then you, like, move your fingers to cast a spell. Uh, I know nothing. Yeah, so you're still kind of new to the spellcasting thing. You don't really <laughs> know shit. About, like, can I? you actually uh, know less than you think you do. Okay, at so least you're like, knowledge yeah, arcana. man, this is definitely an alarm post. The whole 100%. Can I try knowledge <laughs> arcana to at least uh, know the school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Uh, it's definitely an abjuration post. 100%. You totally believe. These are definitely, definitely alarm posts. I haven't been at the magic game long, but I know that these are alarm posts. <clears throat> well, you've been shooting fiery hands all over the place. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to check yourself, Jeff? So what can we do about these posts to uh, bypass them or avoid them or something? Anybody? Eridos? How about we throw a stone through like through the invisible fence on the other side of the property and then come in ourselves at the same time on the other side of the property at the very least. If they are alarms, they'll split up the forces. Can you guys make a perception check while you're out here? Because it sounds like it's not just Eridos that's out here now. It sounds like the whole group is at the edge of the property. Oh, I'd assumed he had scouted and come back. But, oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Right. But because I, other, up there. Yeah, otherwise I would have a spellcraft, and I wasn't planning on oh. going with him. Okay. Wow, we suck. All right, <laughs> hold on. Get all these bad rolls out of the way now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Joff. Um, I think on your way away from Asvig Longview's property... You notice the smudged remains of a rune drawn in the dirt that seems to have been erased. But the rune kind of burned itself into the earth. And there wasn't just one of these. It looks like, like people walked next to it and then drew it. And then someone else walked next to it and drew it again. And that seems to have happened like a dozen times. All right, but there's no Unfortunately, your check is not good enough for you to recreate it from memory. Okay. Um, and that's while we're walking away from the guards and they were all still looking at us? Yes. Okay. Well, since I can't accurately describe it from memory, I will just alert Eridos to the fact that there were runes in case he wanted to scout them. Okay. The only magic I saw was in the posts, right? That's correct. Then <clears throat> they're not anything magical, so I'm not too particularly worried. Uh, would it be any well, knowledge while I'm up there? Were, if they were scruffed out, they might not have been active. That's a concern. Maybe. Uh, but I do assume I see them on when I'm there, right? Um, you've been told where they are, so yeah, you don't have to look for them. All right. Uh, would it you be any kind of knowledge? Craft check on it. You might have heard something about runes like this. Yeah, if I don't roll another two. Hey, there you go. Roll okay. another two. Yeah, you're fairly <laughs> oh. sure that you could recreate this rune pretty easily and that it would shut off the alarm posts. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you believe that. You... <laughs> Alright, I think I have a way to bypass the alarms, guys. Alright. <clears throat> so does that mean we don't need to worry about throwing stones at them? No, well, that'd be a good backup plan, but no. Nah. Alright, and there's no way we can, like, magic a, th a stone? You know, like on a delayed catapult or something? To, like I, can, I can mage hand a stone.